the project last scene, uh, I came across uh, the idea of doing this from an article about uh, people who disappeared uh, in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, in the 90s. I look for families uh, that live in the same house where the person who was uh, kidnapped or arrested lived before this horrific incident. And I asked the families where they remember seeing the person for the last time. And whatever they indicated with their finger, I would take one picture of that place. I met the families, did interview with them, recorded all their stories. And then uh, that was always the shortest space is to take a picture of the place uh, where they've seen the person for the last time. This whole grid contains 50 images. It basically speaks for the entire world that this phenomena of uh, people, people being disappeared during conflict, it's still something goes on and on everywhere. In 2021, they found a mass grave of 17 people, uh, Republicans, who were murdered by Franco regime in a very small town near uh, Madrid, about uh, 60 kilometers. It's called El Espinar. And in this grave, there were 17, 11 uh, members were from the same family and the uh, others from the same uh, town. So I went there and I asked the permission of uh, to record the, the sounds of uh, exhumating all these 17 skeletons. The sound of the process of sifting the bones, uh, digging, brushing. I replicate the entire ditch, which is uh, around three by four meters, and let people get inside and and give them the freedom of how long they would like to stay there and how how far they would like to imagine uh, these uh, the consequences of these atrocities or also the, the imagine the grave the state of the grave this is what i, I would like uh, always to make it the, the the main element in my work to be present uh, no matter what the subject matter is but it's all about feeling